Good morning from the McNeil house. Clancy and I just got back in from our walk. We had to squeeze in a really quick one this morning because he has a very early meeting, so we got out there real quick. So I'm going to try and work out because I have to leave in less than an hour to go and get my new glasses. But I have to show you what Bailey did in the fridge. <music> Look at what is in my fridge. Oh my gosh, she nailed it. That is a New York style cheesecake. Made at 10 o'clock last night, <laughs> probably finished around midnight. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, Bailey started that really late last night. She was making it. It smelled so good in here when we went to bed. It was crazy. And I told you that if you came today, you'd get to see it. So there's your look at it. I'm sure that I'll show you a slice of it with some cherry pie filling and whipped cream later on today if you stick around. packing up your dollies and I'm off got all worked out and through the shower and all dressed up and ready to go my hair isn't wanting to really cooperate today call it COVID hair right <laughs> I haven't had my hair cut in almost two years and it's getting really long but I don't know what else to do with it I always reach that dilemma how about you guys all right we're here time to go in and see what these new glasses look like you guys i'm like scared nervous is there a word for that combination because i'm feeling it right now i actually hate getting new glasses fitted because they're never ever as comfy as the ones that you've been wearing for like four years i want them but i hate that whole period of adjustment a few moments later here is pair number one what do you think? I'm pretty excited. I was so nervous. This is the pair that I was super nervous about because I hadn't seen them. I did think that this blue was a lot lighter and brighter. It's darker than I thought, but I am loving the green and the lines in here. So first pair of progressives. So <laughs> I have to learn to tilt my chin when I walk. I went to step off the sidewalk and it all went blurry. <laughs> so there's a few things to learn. And then uh, I can totally feel it though when I go to look at something and read it. Like I can see my phone way clear. <laughs> so you're probably going to see lots of head bobbing trying to figure out where to look through my glasses in order to make it clear. But I'm loving these you guys. And these are my new sunglasses. We'll have to see what Clancy thinks. Oh, you know, she was fantastic at adjusting them. I'm so thankful she spent a lot of time trying to get them just right. They don't fall off. I don't want to lose them in the river at my mom's house. But they just, it takes a bit for them to feel comfy. Anyway, these are them. Tell me what you think. Give this a thumbs up if you're liking my new glasses, you guys. I'm pretty stoked. Time to go home and show the fam my new glasses. Clancy got his yesterday and I got mine today. So I don't really know where to put my head while I'm wearing these and it is like making me so dizzy. It's insane. It is 17 and a half degrees in here. Today is supposed to hit 30 degrees, like hot summer, finally. And because it was supposed to get hot, I left the windows and stuff open last night, but we're all freezing. <laughs> The kids are actually outside because it's too cold to be in the house. So I'm thinking it would be a good time to make cookies. We're not supposed to hit 30 degrees until 6 o'clock tonight, and that's seven hours away. So maybe making cookies will at least warm up the kitchen, and then we can eat warm cookies and warm up, right? That's a good eating excuse there. What are we doing? Making double chocolate chip cookies. No, one at a time. Dump oh, that in right. the mixer first. And turn it on so it mixes up. Tiggy just learned how to do flour properly. Our flour has been packed very, very hard into the bag. And we're finding that we end up using way too much. You stir the flour and then the chewy in the middle. Oh, 
Looks like the little flower mice were here. Did you make a mess? Yeah, <laughs> she was up to her elbow, so we, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> you, you have Coco up here and not the dog. You have like Coco on over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tiggy is making this properly according to the instructions of mixing the dry ingredients. All right, we have a professional taste tester here to let us know if these chocolate chips are worthy of cookies. What do you think? Could you please tell us your opinion? I'm Yes, we're okay to go ahead with Operation Chocolate Chip Cookies? Okay. Wait! Mm. We have another, another taste tester, connoisseur. No. Oh! What should we do with them? Eat the milk chocolate onto them and use like a bucket of this. <laughs> All right, we almost have our cookie dough. Are those chocolate chips okay? You guys are gonna be so sweeted out before we even get there. Can you see them butterscotch just... chips? Best part of being the cook. Hopefully nipples are okay. inverted. She tested the it. Just an FYI. It's a cone, not a nipple, is it? YouTube, YouTube waiver. Seriously, Kieran. Can you cut that out? Kieran's all concerned. Now I've got chocolate chip cookie dough on it that these are inverted. And he's using the politically Super incorrect stuff. terminology. Maybe, yeah. Okay, <laughs> professional taste tester. We need to know. Okay. <laughs> this one's almost ready to go in. And they don't take long to bake. I am now making the cookies. Don't know if you can hear, but the crazies are downstairs. <laughs> Packing to go to grandma's house has like tip them over the edge. They're all kind of excited. I think they need to get out of here. It'll be good to get out for a couple of days. And they are nuts down there. They're like beating each other with pillows and screeching. Thankfully, they helped me bring stuff up beforehand. We've got these boxes here full. Got a bunch of stuff out by the door that's ready to go as far as food goes. My mom doesn't want me to bring food because she wants to cook for all of us the whole time. And she's awesome that way. But we also realize just how much our family uses. And you know, we've already done our two week shop. We might as well take some of it with us. We might need some. Uh, I'll figure it out. We are downstairs. We found the empty box of Ichiban. So we're using it to pack stuff to take to grandma's house. We really? You think we need all of that? Nope. Huh. Um, I have to check my Pad Siu recipe to see what I need. I do not. I really want to try soup in a bowl. Like, we need to try that someday. Try. Oh, yes, yes. The kids have been asking for us to make like soup bowl bread. That would be really, really fun. I think that would be a good fall that. activity. We should do that and then have like a couple of different soups. That'd be fun. Like... You guys, look at this cheesecake. Good job. Dude.
The only sad part with this is that Bailey has a migraine and it's bad enough that she doesn't want to eat. So we're sitting down here eating our cherries and cheesecake without her. What do you think? She did good, huh? Yep. It was worth her staying up until midnight for.